I'd like to welcome everybody here this afternoon. Uh, far left is Billy James of Columbia Records. And I'm here just to sort of point fingers at people who've got questions. And uh, Bob tells me that he has no formal statement. He'll, he said he would prefer not to answer any questions about uh, science or trigonometry, which sort of blew the first 10 that I had. Uh, so I will just, if I may, lead it off with one question, uh, and then let you take it from there. And I just, Bob, these days, an awful lot of people are recording your songs, and I just wondered uh, if you had any feelings of pride or horror or anything else about having your material done by other artists. Okay. We are. Anybody out there want to start off? Please go ahead. Where do we get the mechanics out there? I'm asking these questions. I'm a stressed older from sweet ignorance about the field of what you work with. Very well. But lately, in one of the national magazines, I read something about uh, the protest singers. And uh, I, I wonder if you could tell me that among the folk singers, or if you are properly characterized as a folk singer, how many would you say could be characterized as protest singers today? Mm. I don't understand. Could you ask the question again? Yeah. How many people who labor in the same musical vineyard in which you toil, how many are protest singers? That is, people who use their music, use the songs to protest the uh, social state in which we live today, a matter of war, a matter of crime, or whatever it might be. Uh, how many? Yeah. Are there many? Yeah. Well, I guess I'm going to be like uh, 136. country and western and uh, uh, 17th century minstrel music. So <laughs> 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 I'm not sure that Robert C. Lay was a protest singer. <laughs> <laughs> but when they, you know, <laughs> they were doing that. Yeah. And all the attention has been given to everybody that looks, you know, but has long hair. It's a protest singer, but a uh, the truth of the matter is really that the protest singers really are, you know, Edie Gourmet and, and uh, Robert Goulet and Steve Lawrence. Well, it's very obvious, you know, if, if, uh, if you go beyond the word of just protest. What does the word protest mean to you? To me? It means, uh, uh, singing, you know, uh, you don't really want to sing. It means what? It means singing against your wishes to sing. Is that, do you sing against your wishes to sing? No, no. Well, uh, do you sing protest songs? No. What do you sing? No, I sing uh, all love songs. Uh, Bob, I'd like to make a comment about several statements that have been made by Uh Is it true that you have changed your name, and if so, uh, what was your real name? My real name was Knezovich. <laughs> and uh, I changed it. To, uh, you know, to avoid obvious uh, relatives that come up to you in different parts of the country and uh, my tickets to the concerts and, <laughs> and stuff like that, huh? Can <laughs> 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 yes. That's the first of the last time. 
That was the first name. <laughs> I don't really want to tell you what the last name was. <laughs> No, well, you know that's not true. You've heard the songs, haven't you? Yeah, well, you know that's not true then. Uh, I think Puff the Magic Dragon and the Tambourine Man were considered by some to be endorsements of marijuana smoking. Well, I didn't write Puff the Magic Dragon. That's uh, horrible. You know, that's uh, whatever that is. I didn't write that. And uh, Mr. Tambourine Man, there's no marijuana in that song. Was, I never heard it before. <laughs> Do you have a music uh, background, or what is your education? Uh, same as everybody, high school. Mom, uh, if you, we were to put a label, or you were to put a label upon yourself, how would you characterize yourself? What kind of singer are you? I'm a mathematical singer. Um, I uh, use words like most people use numbers. That's about the best I can do. Can you elaborate a little bit more on that delusion me again? Oh, I hate to do that. I can't, I can't, uh, uh, I can't elaborate on it any more than that. I could at another time. You really got me in a bad moment here. Bob, you and Joan Baez have become heroes of the youth protest movement on college campus. Oh, David. <laughs> uh, I'd like to get your reaction to the student protest movement. And whether, a two-part question, the second part is whether you believe that there is a connection between the so-called uh, new left and the so-called new music. I don't know anything about the new, new left or the uh, students of very much at all. I, uh, I don't really know any college students. Uh, I have a complaint against your, uh, <clears throat> your vocals, and I hear uh, others, and I read criticisms, Sorry. Yeah, it's very hard to use your words. You kind of mumble or you sort of uh, slur. Yeah, that's... And uh, in the old days, you know, Sinatra on his 50th birthday was complaining also about the new modern singers. <coughs> and, uh, the enunciation of dictionary. Well, the new, new modern singers are much too sick nowadays to... Uh, to uh... Well, how about yourself? Are you sick in the same way? Uh, in terms of not, not comprehending the words and lyrics of your... I have a nervous disease. And this keeps my uh, words. I mean, if you want to pick, pick on that, you know, and uh, like you pick on a cripple or somebody, you know, that's well, a different thing. Uh, well, you're not the only one, of course. It's modern, uh, modern style. I'm just curious, you know. There certainly isn't any style that's, uh, that's you know, harmful to anybody. Well, it's, it's not going to hurt anybody. Well, it's not going to hurt them not to understand the words. Bob, why is there such a widespread use of drugs among singers today? <laughs> I don't know. Are you a singer? <laughs> Am I wrong in assuming that or saying that? I, would, I don't know many of the other singers. I really don't know. Do you take drugs yourself? I don't even know what a drug is. I've never even seen a drug. I wouldn't know probably what one looked like if I saw it. Real way out music and drugs seem to go together. Have any idea why that could be? I have no idea. <laughs> have you any intention of uh, appearing at a Vietnam Day committee uh, benefit in San Francisco in a week or so? No, I'll be busy. Have you been asked? No. Bob, what will be the next vogue, in your opinion, in the in the field of music in which you, you work? The next Vogue. What will be the next Vogue? The next popular next thing, thing I'm going to do? Anyone. What will catch on, in your opinion? Gee, I don't know. What are you going to do next? Something new and different? Yeah, I'm going to write a symphony. I'm going to write a symphony of words. Different words and songs going at the same time. Bob. I don't know if it's going to be Vogue. Can you explain a little bit more how you're going to go about this? Uh, would you have people reciting it all at once? or what? Yeah, all at once everything's going to happen. Uh, uh, one song will be playing here in one key, another song will be in another key. There'll be, uh, there'll be sounds from out this way and uh, different other sounds from another track. It all depends on how many tracks you decide to use. Use ten tracks. You can use ten different things going on at the same time, which is really a symphony. 
Bob, what sort of technique do you use when you write songs? Or don't you call it any sort of technique? How do you do it? Do you, do you play on the piano first or write the music down first or the lyrics? What do you do? No, I just sit down and the next thing I know it's there. <laughs> How does it come there? How does it come there? <laughs> um, it's, uh, I just sit down and uh, I write and uh, the next thing I know it's there. Do you produce your own uh, records and so forth? No, no I don't. Who's your favorite producer? Do you have any? The producer's records? Yeah. Um, you mean that A&R's them? Yeah, the one who does the whole job of background and uh, music and instrumentation, the author. I don't know if too many people really that do that. I feel Spectre. Mm -hmm. Who does yours? Uh, who's yours? Oh, come with that records. Yes. The one named Bob Johnston does it. Bob what? Johnston. Mm -hmm. Bob Johnston. Very good. You know him? No. I don't know him, but he's very good. Bob, do you have any movie plans coming up in the near future? Yeah. What would you like to do? <laughs> Oh, he's, he's just very really excited. <laughs> it's, uh, we'll just make a movie. Would you play yourself, or would you actually act? Do something no, different than you I'm going to play my mother. <laughs> How would you do that? Huh? How would you do that? How would I do that? Yeah. That's very simple, really. Do you think about it? <laughs> well, would you think about it and tell us? No, no. I just do things. I don't think at all. What would you call the movie? Any idea? Uh, no. Oh, uh, Mother Revisited. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any chance that you could be drafted, or have you already been in the service? I've already gone through that a long time ago. Were you in the service? No. Why are you putting us and the rest of the world on, so? I don't know, I'm just trying to answer your questions, you know, as, as good as you can ask them. How do you like Bobby Huh? How do you like being part of Sony Records? I like being part of Sony Records very much. Do you really mean that? Yeah. yeah. That's a kind of question. How many uh, songs have you written uh, for MPHC? Music publishers? Oh, about, uh, I think they have about 100, 125. And which is the most, the uh, biggest song you Uh... Gee, I don't know. There's been a bunch of them. They what, keep on. I'm sure you must have been asked a thousand times, what are you trying to say in your music? I don't understand one of the songs. Yeah. Can you, can you, well, you shouldn't feel offended or anything, you know. It's not, you know, it's not, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to say anything to you, you know. Like, if you don't get it, like, you don't have to really think about it because it's not addressed to you. Who are you addressing? Right. It's not addressed to anybody. Are you trying to say something when you when you write? Or are you just entertaining? I'm just an entertainer. That's all. Well, what are you trying to say in your songs? Can you take a couple of songs? I can't. Uh, no, no, no. I can't uh, try to tell you that. Uh, obviously, I just can't try to tell do you, you that. Do you really feel whatever it is that you write and say? No, I'm going to make me mad now. Huh? Or do you do it because I'm really successful yeah. with the test? Huh? Do you really feel the things that you write and say? Or What's that feel? Maybe something. <laughs> well, tell me something. You know, I'm probably never going to hear any of the Did I feel it? Yeah. Oh, I guess so. I must have felt it. <laughs> I, think, I think we're talking about... Uh, talking about two different things. No, we're talking about standard emotions. We're talking about pain or remorse or love. Or oh, yeah, I, had no, I had no I had those feelings. Those? No, I had no those feelings at all. What sort of feelings do you have when you write a song? They're like all the songs. songs. I mean, they're there. I'm showing you my feelings. I mean, you know, they're the songs. I'm going to have to explain my feelings. I'm not on trial. <laughs> Bob, do you feel the popularity of the English groups has helped to boost your own popularity? I don't feel You know, I can't really answer that. I, I, you know, maybe it has me help me too much. So I don't know. I'm not, what are some of your, uh, uh, what, what, what are some of the groups that you think have a, a good and have a great future? Some of the popular groups. The Fugs. <laughs> you the Fugs? Bob, do you have any advice for the youth? 
<laughs> yes, it's true. <laughs> but I thought you knew that. Are you a fan of Richard Barton? Yes, of course. Why? 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 <laughs> Why? Well, I'll go ahead and answer that. <laughs> I mean, okay, I think for yourself a little bit. Are you here today voluntarily? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> A personal question here, and I hope you'll forgive it, but you sound and you look very tired. Are you ill, or is this your normal state? <laughs> uh, well, I don't to take it as an insult. I, I'm, you know, I, I don't like to hear that, that kind of thing. I don't um, mean to offend you, but yeah. you do. We can hardly hear you. you look well, very I'm, from, you know, I'm from New York City. You're all from California. You know, this health thing. You know, I don't know. I feel quite embarrassed about it the same way you do, probably. <laughs> but I don't, you know, I have no explanation for it. Bob, what about the nervous condition that you mentioned to us? Mm. Is that evident? Or do you take that I keep that very well concealed. <laughs> Are you taking um, medication for it? Mm. Oh, yes, uh, medication. What do you mean, drugs? How many questions are those? Bob, are you serious about the sympathy? Yes. To some degree, I mean, it's, uh, uh, Bob, yeah, some ideas. Uh, what would be the influence uh, as towards this symphony? Would uh, you say you were heard listening to Beethoven's Ninth, for example? No, I. Uh, that wouldn't be influenced by Beethoven's Ninth. I know, I know, I know what it does, though. I know the forms that I know the musical. What about the influences of, as a lyric writer or a poet? Uh, you were, and they mentioned the. Uh, influenced by Guthrie. No, yeah, I don't hear the, uh, no, no, that was more of a of a romantic uh, uh, letter of James Dean kind of thing. Uh, there are no more influences, you know, I would, I would read somebody or listen to somebody because I, I would dig them. That would be the only reason I would, you know. Well, who, who have you collected on records over the past 10 years? Uh, that I personally like? Uh, um, 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 I don't know, all those, those people, um, Kerry Kelvin, uh, the modern singers, uh, Sir Douglas Quintet, um, uh, the staple singers. Uh, some of the French singers. In the way of poetry, who have you collected? Uh, I haven't collected anybody. I get books sent to me from uh, City Lights, you know, and from uh, New York bookstores. They send them to me. I, I read those. I like a lot of the older poets, so more than anybody. I don't know. Uh, what is the reason for your visit here in California? Oh, uh, I'm here looking for some donkeys. <laughs> I'm making a movie uh, about. Uh, I'm making. I'm making a movie about uh, Jesus. Where are you making it? Back east. Uh, what home are you filming? It's a. Yeah, it's an independent film. What type of movie, Bob? Um, I don't really want to talk about it. We don't really talk about those things. I'm sure everybody understands. Uh, that's why I'm here in California. Uh, besides that, I'll just be, I'll be playing a few times here and there, but uh, I'm really here on business. Do you prefer to uh, live there than here? Yes. Do, uh, uh, other, is the recording facilities better here? No, no, there? no. Where do you do most of your recording? New York City. Why do you like New York better than here? Uh, Everybody, uh, uh, I don't know, I guess it's just a closed-in feeling. You get used to being closed-in after a while, you know, and you realize that that's, uh, it's really true. You go other places and uh, it's closed-in, but uh, it's, not, it's not really, you know. It's just more to deal with. Have you had interviews in New York similar to this? Uh, yeah, I don't, not, not, not really, though. I, don't, I know all the reporters that are... Well, I'm wondering if you got the same kind of question there as you get here. No. 
What kind of friends are you attracted to? Huh? What kind of friends are you attracted to? What type of people do you like the best in life that you surrounded with? If anybody. Horrible people. <laughs> I got friends which are thieves. I have a few. <laughs> Are you planning on uh, visiting Joe Biden's School of Nonviolence? No. no. <clears throat> what are your feelings about uh, this kind of involvement in political activities by by singers? I don't know. Do you want? To, you mean singers who are political? Mm-hmm. No, that's fine. If they want to be political, I mean, I hear anybody. Are you going to be? Am I going to be? Well, I mean. Many, many, many students are saying that you were far more political a few years oh, ago. Oh, I mean, in the, in the songs, you mean? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's easily enough seen if you if you know uh, what, what my history in New York City. You can easily figure out. That's very. Uh, you can see the reasons for a lot of that. And it's not really political anyway. It was just another thing from uh, Free Radio. It's just a, it was just another thing from free writing. You see, I was wrote. I was on I was on the east side. When I came to make money, I just went over and sent folk songs or songs that I wrote. You know, so uh, it was two different things. Uh, my attraction was to writing, and uh, only lately, in the past two years, have I discovered that uh, I could put them both together. That's all. Do you have any, any intention of getting involved in protest politics? No. All about Joan Biden's? No, I have too many other things to do. Yeah. You know, a lot of people have labeled the established protesting. I called your father a protest. Well, well uh, I guess I am. Do you think there's a legitimate protest movement in music now? I don't, I don't know. Uh, yeah, but, but uh, you know, as well as anybody else, what that means. You know, like, well, what, what does it mean, protest? And, and what does it mean? Like, what are they protest? What's, what, what is protest? I mean, people were protesting, writing those kind of songs five years ago in, on the East Coast. That's very, you know, everybody out there knows all about that. But, uh, I don't know. I'm not really connected to that. I don't, I'm not into uh, what other people do that, that much. You know. What Why do you think kids are listening to you now? Why do you think that they want to hear what you have to say now? I, I really don't know. I know uh, I just heard something a couple of days ago that amazed me on this tape up outside a concert I played in San Jose that there, there's this 15-year-old girl out there and she's being interviewed and why she was there. And she knew, and she was 15 years old, and she knew of uh, poets like William Blake, and she knew his works, and she knew uh, she was hip to uh, all kinds of uh, different things which uh, people usually aren't acquainted with at that age. So maybe it's just a new kind of person, a 15-year-old person, I don't know. I do know that there was more, uh, that person was more free in the mind than, than the 22-year-old college kids. I knew of that, and that's true. I mean, this is a specific case here. Well, there's a great deal more, a greater maturity among the very young <coughs> nowadays. Why is that? Yeah, I don't know. That's maturity. I didn't mean maturity. Maturity is not what I mean at all. Maturity is just a phony word. A special kind of maturity. Huh? Special kind, a special kind of maturity, a special kind of attitude is what you're saying. Yeah, an attitude. What is the attitude today among young people? Do you oh, have any idea? I, I don't even know any people, young people. I don't really know. Well, when you said attitude, what could that be? Well, attitude. It's like you, you have a certain attitude, right? I bet you have an attitude. Like you can be personally insulted, can't you? All right. Well, there's an attitude among a certain crowd of people that can't be personally insulted, and they know, you know, like without thinking. Is that how you feel? Oh, that's just one little thing I'm giving you. It's just a term. I'm not talking about how I feel. I'm telling you the truth. I mean, forget it comes from me, you know. Well, I'd like to ask about sexual freedom and so forth. And uh, uh, this is this is a new bag today. And uh, what what's the reason for it? What what's the new the new thing? <laughs> 
This guy here, I thought was really hip. <laughs> and I looked at him. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? No. Oh, you participate in the new series? I don't participate in anything. <laughs> Nothing. I bet you couldn't name one thing that I participate in. Go ahead, I dare you. Well, <laughs> best, best conference. <laughs> no, that's uh, <coughs> that's what we're trying to find out, you know. Well, if you do. <laughs> I know you get a lot of letters and a lot of reactions from from people who hear you. You have a feeling that they do read you, that they get. Yeah, yeah. Some of the letters. Yeah, some of the younger ones too. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they do. I think you're more popular among the young crowd than you are among the older generation. Basically. Bob, you you sing mostly love songs. Is love important to you when you write your song? No. Is it important to you when you sing songs? No. You enjoy your song now, right? Well, I perform the songs the same way that, you know, that w I just perform the songs. I mean, do you enjoy performing as opposed to writing? I like to sing and play, yeah. I don't know if you want to answer this, but I work for Variety, and we like to have uh, dollars and cents in the paper. Uh, yeah. Can you tell me how much you make a month from your, uh, from your records alone? I don't get, I don't get, I don't know how much I make. You don't get a break now. I have no idea what I make, and I don't want to ever find out. No. no. And yeah, I'd spend a lot, I guess. Maybe Billy James can answer that. No, he wouldn't answer that either. That is what he makes. <laughs> what do you spend your money on? You seem to live a very simple, uncomplicated uh, life. And, uh, right? Motor cars, yachts. You can easily see that. Uh, uh, you don't seem to be interested in motor cars, uh, girls, yachts, and all that kind of stuff. Well, that's the way it goes. <laughs> So uh, I'm trying to figure out what you do, well, what you spend money on. I, uh, <laughs> uh, I spend money on, you know, whatever is there to spend money on that I want to buy. Do you have investments that you buy, apartment houses? I don't know. I don't know what happens to my money. I get, you know, when I want money, I go ask for it and I get it. And I spend it, and when I want more, I get it, for it, and I get it. That's all. It's very simple, really. On the back of one of your albums, you said Dean Martin should apologize to the Rolling Stones. Uh, I don't know. How long ago was that? I don't know. A year ago? Also, the Rolling Stones were very, uh, they weren't heard of here yet. They were just in England. I saw, I saw a thing or something. He was over there. I did something. I saw some kind of a, some kind of a, a snobby thing. I don't know what it was. It had nothing to do with talent or anything like that. What do you think of the birds? I like the birds. The birds and the fugs. I think it's two favorites. <laughs> the birds and the fugs. Uh, you should boil things down to simplicity. <laughs> Birds in the folks. Oh, okay. I'm gonna uh, say that. Uh, your original uh, association with Columbia came about. Did it come about through Hammond's son, John Hammond's son, or just how did you sign with Columbia? Uh, I made a record with Carolyn Hester, who at that time we signed you know, five years ago. And uh, was Hammond? On yeah, that he day? he ignored it. And he suggested cutting an album, or did you request cutting it first? No, he, he, he just heard me play the harmonica. He wants to know if I wanted to make an album. Do you know uh, Hammond Jr.? Yes. Yeah. Have you ever worked with him? No. Thank you. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, no, I don't think I have a well, thank you very much. Okay. Yeah. There's some more press information outside for anybody that needs it.